And Trump's plan to combat the opioid epidemic calls for stiffer penalties for drug traffickers, including the death penalty. Nine on your side's Julie O'Neill talked with one of the heavy hitters of Hamilton County's heroin task force to find out whether he thinks the proposal would help. The scourge of drug addiction in America will stop. President Trump strong as he lays out his plan to stop the opioid and heroin epidemic. These are little baby steps. They do help uh, in some ways. That's the overall reaction from Newtown Police Chief Tom Sinan, who's fought this on the front lines with the Hamilton County Heroin Coalition. If we don't get tough on the drug dealers, we're wasting our time. Just remember that. We're wasting our time. And that toughness includes the death penalty. Sinan not happy with the big headline. The president is calling for the death penalty for drug dealers, which Sinan calls impractical. We have to start defining who is a drug dealer and who's not. That drug dealer in the street, that 18-year-old kid will throw out a free sample to get somebody hooked. So does a pharmaceutical company. And both are responsible for people dying in the United States and killing Americans. So tell me, who's the drug dealer and who's not? Sinan says the announcement the feds are indicting suppliers in China is a start, but wants the emphasis off penalties. I pushed for stronger sentencing on fentanyl and carfentanil, and I got pushed back saying, hey, here's the studies, here's the research. The research shows that stronger penalties do not necessarily mean less drug dealing in the United States. As a matter of fact, it's had zero impact. Failure is not an option. Probably the biggest thing that helps the most is that Medicaid inpatient treatment. That is significant and that will allow people to get into treatment. Sinan believes the way to stop the drugs is to focus on decreasing demand. Let's start treating addiction the way that we should and we'll start seeing results. Then we can focus on the drug dealers and penalizing them. But right now we have a lot of users that are sitting in jail that are holding up a lot of space. So part of the reason is the drug dealers aren't going in on their full sentences because we have all these users in there. Julie O'Neill, nine on your side. Meanwhile, there is a new effort to tackle the opioid epidemic in Hamilton County. The county's quick response team will start next month. The QRT will work with police, firefighters, and social workers to do follow-up visits with people who have overdosed. Their goal is, of course, to get them into treatment. Leaders say the Norwood, Price Hill, Colerain, already have quick response teams in place. As you look at the daily map and where people are um, experiencing overdose and, and being administered the Narcan, those parts of the county change from day to day, from week to week, and so we need a countywide response to that. A $400,000 grant over a two-year period will actually help Hamilton County pay for this program.